Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Great Book of Grudges. My name is Nathan and we're here to have a little discussion. So, Total War Warhammer 2 comes out at the end of the month. Pretty much just uh, 12 days at the time of recording this video. I'm assuming it should be posted on the same day. But there's a little few things that I do kind of want to, like, outline. P more specifically, the, uh, the Eye of the Vortex campaign. So, as far as we know, the Eye of the Vortex campaign is changing things up. There uh, is a chance for us to lose, essentially. We can't just get stuck with one camp and hold out and... Uh, we, we can't just stay there for the rest of the time. We actually have to compete with other racers who are trying to do um, the conditions, which is control the vortex. Now, I wanted to make this video because I wanted to highlight some few things. Basically, I'm a defensive player. Everyone who knows me, like if you're watching the current Let's Play, I'm a defensive player. I'm a very defensive player. I like to take my time. I like to build up. I like to get some elites in. I like to move out. What does that mean for players like myself? It means we have to change everything. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. If you're a defensive player, that means you need to move out. You need to actually start getting ready and start learning how to play. Play more aggressively, that being said. I have actually been playing a few campaigns alongside this Bretonian one where I've played a vanilla version of certain of the races. I've been preparing myself. I don't have this game yet, but I've been preparing myself for the first game. Trying to be more aggressive, trying to be there and be able to actually jump out. The problem is that you obviously have to get to know your race. What does this mean for you guys? Well, like I said, you need a, I suggest you do the same. You're a defensive player, you're going to get stuck here, you're going to have a really bad time, especially if you're playing, like I do, in legendary mode. It's going to be much, much, much more harder. You need to be able to expand very quickly, still being able to provide defenses for yourself and others in other locations, keeping some garrison armies, so you can obviously protect when you start, uh, when you start doing your rights and so on. Just make sure that you push out. So obviously I'm trying to do this just to make sure that you guys will get informed, really, because this is going to be a very, very tough campaign for all of us, really. But this is cool, because it at least changes things up. I'm not sure about most other Total War games, but I think this is one... I think this is an exclusive where you can kind of just lose. So this is kind of cool. I just wanted to make sure that this gets out there for you guys. I want to know what you have planned, see if you've got any ideas, let's talk about it. Are you going to play as the Skaven, the Lizardmen, uh, the Dark Elves, the High Elves, and why? Let's see what happens, let's see what actually happens. And how will we be able to do anything regarding this? But yeah, let's see. I can't wait to hear your comments. I'll see you soon, guys. Adios.